welcome back to another CV Linens video tutorial. Today's video will be based on a holiday inspiration on how you can set up draping this holiday. Also, we've thrown in a little DIY on how you can convert a tablecloth into a drape. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're starting by setting up our pipe and drape frame. This will be a triple backdrop design. So here we're just adding the first crossbar which will hold our background drapes. We are using our opaque poly premier drapes that will help enhance the additional draping we will be using. We also recommend placing the crossbar on your shoulder so that you can easily slide the drapes on the crossbar to make it more time efficient. Next, we will use our valence hanger, which will allow us to achieve the triple backdrop look. For our second drape layer, we are turning a rectangular tablecloth into a drape. On the width side of the tablecloth, we are marking off four inches. This is going to allow us to create a pocket. Fold the fabric over and iron it to create a guide. This is a quick no-sew tutorial. So we are using iron adhesive from Hobby Lobby, but you can use any adhesive bond from your local craft store. Be sure to follow the care instructions on the adhesive that you'll be using. To make sure the adhesive bonded to both sides of the fabric, we ironed the area again. And here is our final result. Let's go ahead and get started with adding it to our crossbar. We suggest adding the newly created drape gently onto the crossbar to prevent the bonding from becoming detached. Keep this in mind as well when adjusting the drape. The final layer of drapes will consist of five different styles. So we've recruited a friend to help us add the drapes on each side of the crossbar. Now it's time for the fun part, the pleating process. We are using a hand over hand technique so our drapes have a beautiful pleat. Gather the drapes in the middle and adjust them accordingly to a polished look. Using zip ties is a great way to hold drapes together while you add embellishments. If you only have one zip tie size available, you can always combine two ties to make a larger one. Using the same pleat method, we are gathering our spandex and mesh drapes. These drapes will be attached to the upright using zip ties. Remove any excess zip tie material using wire cutters or scissors. Then cover up the zip tie using your favorite embellishment. We love multi-purpose linens, so for this design, we're turning our velvet chair band into a bow using a brooch. To complete this festive backdrop, we've included a balloon Christmas tree tutorial just for you. Begin by flattening out the largest cluster of balloons. Then do a double knot tie with fishing wire to one of the balloons. Using the fishing wire, do a figure eight between the base layer and the new layer of balloons. Continue adding layers of balloons using the same technique. And there you have it, your beautiful DIY balloon Christmas tree. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can purchase the items that were used in this video in the description below. As well, don't forget to stop by some of our social pages to get some more event inspiration and check out some of our latest videos. Be sure to also tag us in your upcoming holiday Christmas drape setups. We can't wait to see what you create. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video and happy holidays.